Hello again everybody, I'm doing quite a few reviews tonight, as you can tell I'm in the same outfit as a couple of previous videos, but welcome to my review of um, Burberry Touch for men. Um, yeah, well, I, for men, I always disagree with that, I think it's marketed for men, but it could be for anybody. So um, yeah, this is classified as a woody floral musk perfume. Um, I actually don't have the box anymore, which I do apologise about, but again, you would have seen it in the pictures before. Uh, it comes in a, it's really actually cool, it comes in a um, kind of muslin-y nice bag with a drawstring at the top, so you get kind of, I suppose, two gifts in one. You could use that bag for something else, but I don't know where mine is now. It shows you how much I know. I don't know. <laughs> mine is really, really far gone. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, um, a woody floral musk for men. Uh, I was drawn to this because, like I've probably well, said in my reviews before, and I will say again, I'm drawn to something that's a bit different. When it comes to, uh, you know, women's perfumes, I'll wear tons of different stuff. When it comes to men's, I'm really, really picky. So, if you're any guy out there watching it, this review, so uh, I hope you will kind of take the information in. Hopefully you'll appreciate my uh, advice. So yeah, Woody, Woody Floral Musk. Um, what's it got in it? So you've got, um, in the top notes, you've got Artemisia. Artemisia is, it's kind of a grassy herb, uh, kind of likened to tarragon, which you use in cooking a lot. So it's, it's going to have a sort of dry kind of vibe to it, which this perfume actually does. You've got violet leaf, and then you've got mandarin. And then the base notes of it, a bit of spicy stuff going on here. So you've got nutmeg. Again, something that you do in cooking. Pepper, cedarwood, and oak moss. Quite unusual to have oak moss in a heart heart note or in a you know middle note of a perfume. Usually it's a base, but uh, yeah, apparently it's here. And then you've got in the base, you've got uh, vetiver, very dry. It's a grass, so it's got a very dry smell. Musk, and then you've got tonka, which is a bean, and uh, it's very sweet smelling. So. The combination together, um, it's yeah. This is it's, it's very different. Uh, here's the bottle. I'll show you. It's quite a simple bottle, Burberry. It's uh, the the lid. Do you know? I actually think the lid is is actually made out of real wood. If not, if it isn't, they've done a very good job of it because it look. You know, it's got the facets of kind of like a tree trunk. You know, like the grains that wood has. I wonder if every every lid's different. If you've got it, if you own it, have a look at your lid. Mine's like this. I suppose everyone's different, kind of like a thumbprint, I suppose, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's got like a silver sprayer. It does throw out quite a lot of spray. Like, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it, a lot comes out. It's cool. This room's going to really smell of that now. But uh, yeah, I'll spray it on me right now before, it, uh, before I go any further. So yeah, so you, it's a floral woody mask, and what you can gather from the notes of it, it is uh, quite a spicy perfume. Uh, or fragrance, sorry, or should I say cologne, because it's a men's one, I don't know. I mean, my, I'm setting my own way, so do, do forgive me. Uh, yeah, it's spicy, it's quite dry, it's very woodsy, uh, and this should be labelled sexy. It's extremely sexy smelling to me. It's got a lot of power as well, it lasts for a very long time. Uh, I'm, I've not smelled this for many people, you know, I always kind of judge my fragrances on you know is it hugely popular do I want to smell like everybody else I've not smelled this on, on I've probably smelled it once on a person in all of my years of collecting and buying perfume um, yeah this is released in 2000 so it's 2012 now uh, and I'm 32 now and I've I've not smelled it many times so we'll see maybe I'll just hang around people that haven't got a very good uh, class sorry so I've just got a text there sorry but um yeah so the first things that hit you, um, it's it's the spices basically. Um, it, it's I, I hate to use the word masculine, but it is a very masculine spice. It's not um, it's not it's not a typical. It's not ti well, when I say typical, I mean it's it's not um, it's not like a lot of a lot of perfumes that. For men, especially, I think that have that same vibe, where it's that masculine sort of gentlemanly kind of smell. This is something a little different, and I, I really that's why I pick it. Everything that I pick is has to be something a bit different, especially when it comes to to male fragrances. So you can smell the pepper, 
it, it is quite peppery, but, but it, that doesn't overtake. Um, the oak moss, I don't know, oak moss usually is, is as a base, and oak moss smells very dry and green, and this perfume I wouldn't say smells green, it, it's not a, it's not like a greenery, fern, kind of piney sort of smell, it's, so do excuse me, I do apologise, I'll turn it off in a minute. Um, yeah, it's, uh, nutmeg definitely is a player, if you smell nutmeg, nutmeg is, um, it's, Kind of similar to cinnamon, I think. It's that it's something you know. It smells. It's like something you use in cooking or in like an apple pie. So it's kind of it's, it's got that a little bit. And then vetiver in the base, and the mu mus it's definitely musky too. And vetiver again, I said it's it's a grass actually vetiver, and it's a, another a, another note that's quite dry smelling. So it does smell dry, but the spices are almost. I don't want to say the word juicy, that sounds strange, but they're full, they're full spices. It doesn't smell like a, a spice bar, you know, a spice basket or a, like a, a market you'd go to where it's, it's not like that. Excuse the bird as well. He's okay, ignore him. Uh, so yeah, it's, this is uh, for me something a bit different from the norm for a uh, for male fragrance. Uh, and the main notes are the, are the spices. And uh, there's a, just a slight edge of sweetness in it, which is provided by the tonka, because tonka bean is a almost like vanilla-y kind of bean smell. But that's that. It's not. It's not massive. The tonka is not massive. It's it's brilliant. It's really nice. So give it a go. I mean, everyone's going to probably get something different from this. I would say because as, it depends on your skin chemistry. With me, it's very spicy, but it's also got a sweetness. I always, whenever I have something that's got something sweet in it, it tends to amp a lot, and I get a lot of uh, a lot of sweetness out of my perfumes. But it's nice. It's it, it's quite cool. slight. It's, you know, Artemisia is a bitter herb, and I don't know if there's any bitterness to this. It's just extremely sexy. I I put this in the sexy category as opposed to the you know classic or normal normal category. So yeah, that's my that's my review of Burberry Touch for men. Here you go. Hopefully you'll try it out. You know, see what you think. I think this would be a good safe bet. It's cool. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna keep it smelling it now. Lovely. All right. Thanks for watching. All right. See you later.